Look at this. You'd think maybe this cat's eye was coming out. You saw a big red thing like that. But that's not the cat's eye. That's its third eyelid. Let's look at this eye. See if I push up. See that third eyelid come? That third eyelid, what it does is it wipes away dirt and spreads tears around the eye when the cat blinks. Could you demonstrate? Blink. Blink. See it come up? Look how thick this one is. That's probably due to an infection or a cat scratch. But we want to make sure there's not a foreign body in there. Foreign body doesn't mean that it comes from outside the United States. It means that it's something not usual for the eye. So, I'm going to numb the eye next. And I'm going to put drops of Proparacaine in there. Because cats do not want us, do not want us probing in their eyeball. And then I'm going to put the Q-tip behind the third eyelid and bring it out. Look at how red it is. But look at the eye itself. It's not gray. It's not cloudy. There's no foxtail in there, a piece of a plant that we sometimes see, but that eye's very swollen, isn't it? Look at it. Red, swollen, and bloody. And around the eye itself, you can tell that there's been some discharge. Now, if I were to poke that third eyelid back where it belongs, see how the eye looks more normal? Isn't that? That'd be great if only I could leave the Q-tip in there for a day. But we don't want to do that because, no, this cat wouldn't put up with a Q-tip in for a day. But it's putting it up for now. It's putting up with it for a while. Look at how the pupil constricts in the bright light. Isn't that nice? It's a pretty eye. Okay, let's take the Q-tip out. But see how that, after you, after I do that, it takes swelling down a little bit. But see, it's slowly filling up. Whoop, here it comes. That was just a tent. That was just a quick fix. up. So when you put cats, ointment in a cat eye, don't, just go like that. Usually, if you try to go right in the eye like that, they don't like it. You can come from the top of the eye or put it in the very corner, and then you can rub it. And the ointment will help with the infection. And we're gonna do that three times a day. And because there's so much swelling, I sometimes will give a shot of an anti-inflammatory. This is a visor. I didn't use it, but it's a good prop, isn't it? And this is how you give a sub-Q injection to a cat. You take your needle, you put it underneath your thumb, you tint up the skin, and you put it in, and then you draw back to make sure you're not in a blood vessel, and you slowly put it in. Or fast, depending on the animal. That anti-inflammatory does not sting. It's called dexamethasone, and it will really take down the swelling in that eye. So I think that will be helpful for this old kitty who has a swollen third eyelid due to an eye infection, a cat fight. If it was a respiratory infection, it would be present in both eyes and it's not. There's looking at you from a cat's eye. Well, that's one cause of a swollen eyelid or third eyelid in a cat. The most common cause for discharge and swollen membranes of the eye are viral infections and bacterial infections. Usually it's a kitten or a house cat that's not used to having other cats around and they come in sneezing and sniffling and the membranes of their eye are swollen. That usually means that they had contact with a cat carrying one of the viral or bacterial diseases of cats that cause swollen membranes of the eye, swollen third eyelids. Those can be herpes or clissy or chlamydophilia. I've always mispronounced that, chlamydophila. Um, and those types of viruses and bacteria can cause infections. Um, it may need, uh, the cat may need antibiotics um, orally if it gets into the sinuses and the cat appears sick. But just mild discharge in one or both eyes um, that doesn't seem that seems to go away after a couple of weeks is pretty common. This this uh, particular kitty 
um, had a very swollen third eyelid, which usually um, on in one eye, which is more commonly due to um, a cat fight or a cat scratch or trauma to that eye. So I'm going to see with the antibiotics if it goes away um, or the swelling goes down and the eye looks better in a few days. Another thing that could be is a tumor of that third eyelid. And if the antibiotics don't work, we'll certainly be checking for that too. Anyway, well, if you have a chance, check out Dog Dish Diet. And I have a new book coming out called Dog Diet Answer Book. Look for it. Have a great day.